Hey, good morning, everybody. And I just want to say that fall is here. And one of the most beautiful aspects about fall is the fact that the colors of the leaves start to change, right? We start to experience more foliage. It's more of that from green, yellow, orange, to like maybe a little bit of a red hue if, if you do end up seeing it. And let's go for a little fun fact right here. Do you guys know why the leaves turn orange or red during the fall and winter seasons? It's because of the chlorophyll actually. So. If you guys remember from your high school or middle school biology, chlorophyll is that chemical compound in plants where it basically absorbs all of the light from the sun, converts that into energy. And so what ends up happening is that during the winter and fall seasons, the amount of daylight that's happening is less and less and less, right? And so because of that, chlorophyll starts to break down. And with chlorophyll breaking down, that's what causes the color to change from green to like yellow, orange, and red. So don't tell me that I've never taught you guys or you never learned anything from my channel, right? All right, let's actually talk about the hike now. So we are gonna be doing what's called Mount McCallsland Hike, which is located in the Leavenworth area, which is kind of near Stevens Pass uh, Ski Resort. And it's about an hour and a half to two hour drive from Seattle. And you're basically gonna be taking Highway 2 all the way down. And so if you continue to make your way all the way down Highway 2, you're eventually gonna hit what's called Highway 6700 or 6700. And you're just gonna basically drive about maybe another two miles, three miles roughly, until you start seeing a lot of uh, cars. My recommendation is if you start seeing a lot of cars basically parked along the left side, I would just go ahead and find us the closest parking spot primarily due to the fact that it's basically playing chicken in your car. If you're going up, someone might be coming down. It's like, why deal with that? Honestly, just go ahead and park on the side, make your way up towards the trailhead and you'll be happy. And I just want to say a little bit of a fun fact before we really get into the hike, is that the drive towards Highway 2 or the Leavenworth Pass is so beautiful in the fall time. You get to see a lot of the foliage, and a lot of the colors of the mountain from green to orange to red, to granite color, just everything. It was mag simply, simply magnificent. So even if you don't do this hike, just to drive from Seattle all the way to Leavenworth during the fall, particularly in October, which is where we're at now. Beautiful, beautiful, highly recommended. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do Mount McCausland. So a couple of things I wanna mention before we really start this hike. There are no bathroom stalls in the parking lot, so just make sure you relieve yourself when you can. Parking is free, so you won't need your Discover Pass or your Northwestern Forest Pass for this one. So one thing you're gonna notice is that when you reach the sign for where the trailhead starts, you're not gonna see any designation for Mount McCausland. Instead, you're gonna see something called Smithbrook Trailhead. I just wanna let you know that this is actually the right path that leads to the summit. So the hike itself is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, just continue to follow a path all the way up until you reach a junction where you have to head towards Mount McCausland. So according to the Washington Trails Association's website, the hike is a seven mile round trip hike with an elevation gain of approximately 1,800 feet. However, on the All Trails website, Mount McCausland is a 6.3 mile round trip hike with a similar elevation gain and is rated as hard. Now, personally, the hike itself to me was pretty easy to moderate in the beginning, but once you start making your way up towards the last part of the summit, that's where the hard factor actually comes in. Now, this is a very, very popular trail, guys. So one of the things that kind of irked me when I was doing this trail is the fact that it's a pretty, it's just, it's a narrow trail. You'll often be passing people or letting people pass you. So if you're the type of hiker that doesn't really do well in narrow trails, or you just get frustrated with people just constantly either waiting for you or you have to wait for other people, this is probably not the hike for you. So now regarding bear spray and safety, I was reading one of the reviews and according to this person, Miss Lexi Newell from All Trails, she did end up spotting a bear. So always bring your bear spray just in case. You know, as you continue to make your way higher and higher along the trailhead, you're just gonna notice the foliage and the color of the leaves just becoming more and more prominent. I mean, it's it's so beautiful and majestic. It's really, really hard to put these things into words. So now after hiking for about two and a half to three miles, you're gonna come to an open field where you're gonna have an option to either go straight or make a right. Now, if you continue to head straight down, this is gonna lead towards the Lake Valhalla uh, trailhead. But if you make a right turn, you're gonna end up going on a path toward Mount McCausland. Uh, a couple of things is that there are no signs designating which path leads to what, but it, you won't miss it. The path is pretty obvious. Uh, so we finally made it to Mount McCausland and I have to say, the drive from Seattle all the way to this particular spot, Honestly, took about two hours to drive here and two hours, well, well 
worth it. And I have to say, just this this hike, it, it's so beautiful, it's so majestic. And as you like, you just make your way all the way up, and at some point, you really start to see a lot of the foliage just really, really come out. And it's particularly more prominent when you start making your way up towards the mountain. And I have to say that when you do make your way up towards the Mount McCausland um, area, instead of going towards uh, Lake Bahala, you make it right towards Mount McCausland. The hike definitely does get a little bit more challenging, a little bit more harder, but but obviously every time you turn back around, just take a little bit of a break, you get such a beautiful view of actually Lake Valhalla. So actually, I initially I had plans to go to Lake Valhalla after doing uh, Mount McCausland, but you know what? I feel like from this particular vantage point, you get a beautiful view from just the eye down, looking, with, looking at it, and good enough, good enough. And actually, initially, there were a lot of people just waiting uh, looking at Lake Valhalla. So I thought that was actually the peak of Mount McCausland, but actually it turns out if you continue to make your way um, past and all the way up, you're gonna end up going to this rock, little bit of a rocky area, a little bit sketchy in my opinion, a little bit dangerous. Can be, everything can be dangerous, right? But this spot, what I'm sitting at, is actually the peak of Mount McCausland, and I've been basically sitting here for the last hour just really, really enjoying and just basking in all of this beautiful, beautiful, scenery of just Leavenworth and just the whole state of Washington in general. Just, it's simply majestic. It's just simply beautiful. So, so actually, I'm not going to cut that video out shortly. So I want to go ahead and take a break at the other side of uh, Mount McCausland. That way we can actually get a nice little view of just where Lake Valhalla is. And I do have to say, actually, when you're at the top of Mount McCausland, I forgot to mention that there is a little bit of a, an iron box or rather the steel box where there's actually a journal of people signing and writing just nice little, nice little, what do you call it, motivational quote or the same thing. I was here October 3rd, 2021. Make sure you sign the journal. Let people know that you were here, you made it and that everything was fine and dandy. Just let people know. What was your experience like? Because people want to know. It's very, very inspiring actually to read some of these entries that some people some people actually put in. I remember um, I had a different journal, someone had a different journal and someone was explaining how they had ended up having, finding out that they were diagnosed with cancer just last year. And they were basically making a little bit of a journal entry disregarding their experience with cancer. And the fact that this was one of their, I don't wanna call it a bucket list, but rather just a journey within their life while dealing with cancer. And it was just kind of, it was kind of nice to really hear that right here those moments where people just you know what no matter what you're going through no matter the struggles that you're currently going on that's in your life the only way to really do is just you got to push forward you got to move forward you know and i figured anyways beautiful 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 majestic view and i just wanted to showcase this side of just lake valhalla and just the other side of Mount mclaughlin guys so anyways this is the final sign off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and really, really take the time to come out and do one of these foliage hikes here in the great state of Washington because you will not be disappointed. It just, it takes away everything from all your qualms, all of your fears, all of your just negativity and just from, it, it reminds you of what it's like to really, again, really, really appreciate life. So anyways, that's enough of my rant. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. I, I would really appreciate it. And I thank all of my current subscribers and